Joining us right now is Real Clear Politics Associate Editor A.B. Stoddard and Washington Examiner Chief Political Correspondent Byron York. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been looking forward to this segment to talk to you both. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks so, for having so, us. So, A.B., this poll was conducted after this weekend's release of Trump's 2005 leaked videotape. We know that. Um, she's really pulling ahead. What does Trump need to do? Can he even re uh, regain ground here in the wake of this tape? Well, it started on Sunday night with his debate performance, which people considered solid and, and definitely enough to bring him back from the dead. I think it's going to have to continue with more of that teleprompter Trump trying to speak to people that uh, he can bring into the tent. His base loves him. They were thrilled with his sort of cutthroat performance on Sunday night. But he really needs to grow his vote, and he needs to get back to talking about policy and reaching out to the Republican voters that Romney won that he is losing so badly. Uh, we haven't seen, you know, a, a Democrat picking up white college-educated women in quite this many numbers um, in several cycles, and this is really key to his uh, consolidating the Republican vote and being able to to eclipse her on election day. Yeah, but Byron Dagan brought up a really good point earlier, and that is, I mean, does it even does the math work anymore? I mean, what does he need to do uh, to actually get back to where he is? Can he do it? What do you think, Byron? Well, it, it's possible, and like A.B. says, he needs to concentrate on policy and just it, when, when he's talking about his positions, he does better with voters than when he's involved in controversy. But the biggest thing here is that a lot of this is out of his hands. Uh, this whole thing with the video that happened on Friday, out of his hands. There's a lot of talk about there being other stuff, some other revelation, some other recording. Uh, that's completely out of his hands. I think he's done what he can do as far as the video is concerned. He issued a statement about it. He addressed it at the debate. Now he's moving on. And if he were to, to have a, a little stretch of time uh, in which he's not hit by a new controversy, he will probably rise in the polls. But the, what he's seeing right now is that he doesn't control events here. Yeah. Well, uh, Byron, Karl Rove said, on special report last night, and because it was in that Wall Street Journal M NBC poll, that 67 percent of likely voters thought that the G um, that the GOP candidates should continue to support Donald Trump. But he also said, "Stop tweeting about it." So, told Donald Trump, "Stop tweeting about it." So what did Donald Trump do this morning? He's tweeting about it. He just right. tweeted 27 minutes ago, despite winning the second debate in a landslide. Every poll. It is hard to do well when Paul Ryan and others give zero support. So now he's <laughs> deflecting. Yeah. Yeah, well, Trump going to Trump. That's just all there is uh, to it. He, he seems to take some sort of relish in fighting against the Republican establishment, which worked for him in the primaries. One of the big issues, I think, when this is all over, people are going to look back and say, that Trump had a very difficult time transitioning from primary mode to general election mm -hmm. mode. And here he's trying to get all the Republicans together. Clearly, after the tape, a lot of Republicans were scared. Some of them jumped ship on Saturday. That has probably stopped for a while, maybe until the next incident. Uh, but he, 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 for uh, this whole campaign, he has needed to stop bashing Republicans. Can't seem to keep himself from doing it. But Byron. It looks like we're going to go through a bankruptcy and a restructuring of the Republican Party, no matter what happens. So what does the Republican Party look like in your eyes in 2017, let's say a year from now? A uh, huge debate over people who want to kind of go to, back to the status quo that existed before Donald Trump. Let's get back to a more Paul Ryan-esque conservative Republicanism. And those who say, look, uh, maybe Trump was a, a flawed messenger here, but he pointed out problems with the party being out of touch with its voters on issues like mm -hmm. trade, immigration, foreign entanglements, uh, and there needs to be a change in the party on those. There's going to be a big fight. There's also going to be a, uh, basically a fight against uh, over recriminations. Uh, will Trump's biggest supporters essentially be read mm -hmm. out of the party if he loses, or will there be uh, a, a, a uniting strategy to try to bring everybody together? It's going to be a very tense time in the Republican Party if Trump loses. Mm -hmm. Is Paul Ryan doing the right thing? Well, you have to remember Paul Ryan is coming from a, a state which was very anti-Trump. Go back to that Wisconsin primary, the Republican primary. Ted Cruz won it big. The whole talk radio was conservative establishment was very anti-Trump. That's where Paul right. Ryan is coming from. Most of the other Republicans, who, most of whom are in safe seats in the House, they're sticking with Trump.
Yeah, so that, that's the issue, Anthony Scaramucci. I just think he's the Speaker of the House. He has to rise above that. He had an opportunity to be a statesman here, and he failed in that opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's you got to do it. As a statesman, sometimes you have to hold your nose and do things you don't necessarily like. Yeah. A.B., how about Hillary Clinton and her uh, child tax credit plan in Florida? Uh, she's, she's really talking about it in an effort to appeal to undecided voters. It seems like Hillary Clinton is trying to take advantage of Trump's leaked tape and gain support while her opponent is down, obviously. I mean, she's going to see this as a huge opportunity. Well, she's been under pressure to actually talk about herself and her own plans instead of bashing Donald Trump all the time. She's also been under pressure, you know, to describe what the what her her actual message and her vision for her candidacy is. And now, with more emails coming out showing her own supporters and allies and staffers were also worried about whether or not she had, you know, a real vision and 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 an identity for her candidacy. Um, because she's so at odds with so much of the progressive left in her party, um, I think she's trying to get back to basics and not talk about Trump for a yeah. little bit so that she can say that she's really promoting her own plans instead of just, you know, going into a back and forth with him. Right, because his economic plan is so straightforward and simple, and, and, and it really does seem like it has the potential to move the needle on economic growth. Her plan, we don't know. Well, I mean, she'll say she has, you know, uh, just pounds and pounds of information on her website. But again, she doesn't spend much time talking about it on the stump. I mean, she does have detailed policy plans. But again, she spent so much time really focusing much of her message on the dangers of Donald Trump. And though I think that has worked for her uh, to some extent at some point with you know, lots of potential for her own uh, email scandals to continue, WikiLeaks dumps, big surprises in October. Yeah. I think she needs to try to build some kind of credibility with undecided voters who won't vote for Trump but might stay home and not support her. Do you think conservatives realize, do you think the Republican voter realizes that that tape that was leaked actually could have come from the inside, actually a Republican leaking the tape? You know, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter who leaked it. it. It's Donald matter. Trump in his own words. And the point is, people have said that there are other tapes out there that are worse. People from the show The Apprentice. Whether or not they make it um, into the public sphere by November 8th, we don't know. But even Donald Trump and, and Ben Carson and his own supporters are saying more could come. So that really puts people like Paul Ryan and Republicans who are trying to hold on to an endorsement to him um, in, in a vice because they can't stay with him and really support him because they have to be, they're constantly being asked, is that locker room talk? And they say, no, it's not. Mm. Trump was not contrite. He was not really humbled and ashamed in his explanation of this on Sunday night. And at the same time, they can't dump him. So they're really in a bad corner uh, for the next 28 days. All right, we'll leave it there. Byron York, A.B. Stoddard, good to see you both. Thank you so much.